George David 4737, UGD 4737. It's a black Ford Edge. Rally Alpha. Good luck. We have a guy. What's going on? No, uh, yeah, I, I felt like I had I, some type of tire or something. Um, yeah. No, I actually called my uh, boyfriend and he said that to pull over and so I saw you. Um, I do have... You got your license on you? I do. Alright. I, I have license and insurance. Do you have your registration? Yes. Okay. I do. Where are you coming back from? Uh, it was uh, the Livonia Democratic Club. Mm hmm. Where was that at? You don't remember? You're just coming no, back from there? I just, I'm sorry, I just really want a video of what you need. Um, I do remember. I just, uh, this is more very stressful for me. Okay. Do you have your license? I do. Alright, where is it at? You just looked at it. <laughs> no, I, I'm sorry. I really had it right in front of me. Right here. I'm sorry. Alright, I'll get back with you.
All right, Mary. Yeah. So what happened to your tires? I think I was just driving back from Lansing. Um, and you're driving back from Lansing? Yeah. You're coming back from Lansing right now. Is that that's why you're on the highway? You're yeah. coming back from Lansing. Yeah. Okay. So I didn't see you on Merriman. Okay. Where are you gonna come back from? Lansing. But you're on Merriman. Right. Um, I was just coming back from Coleman's uh, fundraiser, but it was basically from Lansing. Okay. <clears throat> so, all right. I'm not gonna deep dive too deep into that then. So you don't know what right. you hit? Because I'm just saying, both both your front and back tires are flat. That's not great. No, no, I, I, I saw you, you passed. No, and that was recent. Um, I actually was maybe. I would assume. I no, mean, and I, I was literally just talking to my boyfriend on the phone, um, <clears throat> talking from coming back from Coleman's, and. Where, Coleman's? Yeah, what that is, was a state representative that was coming back from his fundraiser. Oh, okay. In Westland. Oh, in Westland? Yeah. Oh, okay, so that's where you're coming back from, yeah. Westland. That would make more sense than Lansing. Yeah. yeah. But okay. I was coming from Lansing. I stopped at Westland, and that's where I was going home from Redford. Okay, gotcha. All right. Um. Where do? As soon as I called this, I, I did. Well, well, I'm just I'm letting you know because I, I mean I saw you driving on Merriman just out to Schoolcraft, and I I, I heard the, the fluttering of yeah. both the tires flat. And then, you know, you passed, you got onto Schoolcraft, and then you got onto 96. And then this tire absolutely got shredded. No, yeah. Yeah. I was in the middle of calling my boyfriend. Okay. Um, Just for help. How much have you had to drink tonight? Uh, two glasses. Two glasses. Um. Of what? Red wine. Two glasses of red wine. Yeah. That's the only thing you've had to drink tonight? Honestly, yes. Honestly? Okay. Yeah. So, if we do some sobriety tests, you're going to pass them then, huh? Yeah. Okay. All right. You can toss your jacket back on and hop out of the car for me. Okay. Give my hand real quick. Yeah. You want to put your jacket back on? Uh, it's a little chilly out. Yeah, it is. I had a wrap. A what? A wrap. A wrap? Yeah. Oh, okay. Hmm. Yeah, so you see you see your tires? No, I do. I don't know what you hit. Hopefully it wasn't another car. No, actually, this is recent. <laughs> oh, yeah. You just what? Oh, you did? Yeah. How long you had it? Two months. Okay. You take any prescription medications or anything like that? No. No? Okay. Do you have any sort of uh, issue? No. Uh, <clears throat> do you have any issues with your eyes? No. No? Okay. Uh, uh, well, I have uh, contacts. Okay. That's fine. Okay. Just, just contacts. All right. Do you have tennis shoes in the car by chance? Yes. Okay, perfect. Do you have any sort of uh, issues with your legs or your back that would affect your balance? Uh, right now I do have, uh, I had an uh, issue with my tendon, my left leg. Mm -hmm. Okay, does that does that affect your balance at all? Uh, right now, this is the first time I wore heels, yeah. so I just wanted to be bearing on that. Okay. Um, I usually wear tennis shoes um, in Lansing, so gotcha. this is the first time. Do you have any other medical issues I, I should be worried about just in case something happens? Uh, no. Okay, perfect. Are you diabetic at all? No. Alright. Any, any narcotics, marijuana today? No. No? Perfect. Alright. So what I'm going to have you do, just take one step towards me. Perfect. Arms down to your side, feet together. Alright, what I'm going to have you do, I'm going to have you stare at the tip of this key right here, okay? With your eyes and your eyes only without moving your head. Do you understand those directions? Yes. Okay.
Это как? Just keep your head level. There you go. Just don't move your head, alright? Okay. okay. Where uh where are your tennis shoes at in here? In the car? In the back. In the back? Alright, let's see if we can find them real quick. For your boots? They should be next to our boots. Uh, these are probably work. Oh, those are heels. Yeah, they're right. I mean, it's not. Yeah, those will work. This yeah. is something flat bottom for you. Sold it to me. It said it was easier, so. Uh, you know, how often do you drink? Okay. Uh, once a week. You drink once a week? Yeah. Okay. Uh, state representative, I try not to do a lot in Lansing. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. So you don't have any issues with your uh, <clears throat> with your legs that would affect your balance at all or anything like that? Your back? Just um, your tendon thing? Yeah, as of right now, this is the first time that um, I can actually stand straight with my with my left knee. Stand straight? Yeah. Because uh, it's torn or? It's uh, it's torn and it says I need uh, three days of physical therapy a week um, and I have yet to do that. So. Okay, so it's, it's not like a truly bad injury that would affect your, your walking or balance? No. Okay. It's just if I limp, it might be... Uh, there, so. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's step over here to the front of your car. Okay. Alright, right here is fine. Alright, so I'm you stand right here for me. Face this way. Alright. So I'm going to demonstrate this test. This one's called the walk and turn, okay? Um, I'm going to demonstrate the entire test to you, and then I will tell you when to begin, so don't begin until I tell you when to be to, okay? Okay. So, what I want you to do right now is put your right foot in front of your left foot, touching heel to toe, like so, with your arms down to your side. I want you to stay in this position while I explain the rest of the test to you, okay? So go ahead and get in that position now. Your right foot in front of your left foot. Right foot in front of your left foot. Yep. Yeah. Touching heel to toe. Yeah. There you go. I'm going to explain the rest of the test. I want you to stay in this instruction position, okay? So when I tell you to begin, I want you to take... Nine heel toe steps while counting out loud and keeping your arms down to your side. It's going to look like this one, two, three, and so on. Nine. Okay, when you get to nine, 
<clears throat> I want you to take a series of small steps, just like this, to turn around okay. and take nine more heel to toe steps back the other way while counting out loud and keeping your arms down to your side, just like so. One, two, three. And we want you to go all the way to nine, okay? Now, remember for this test, each step needs to be heel to toe. You need to count out loud and keep your arms down to your side, okay? Do you understand the test? I do. Okay, you may begin. Okay. We're going to start with saying what my, my knee hurts. So one. Okay. Two. Count out loud. Six, seven, eight, nine. And then turn around. Yep, and nine more. Heel toe steps. Heel toe steps. Yep. One. The nine? Yeah. Okay. Nine. This is your kind out loud, I can hear you. No, I'm sorry. That's okay. And I do apologize for my hesitation in my knee. No, that's okay. That's fine. I understand your knee. No. <clears throat> okay, let's say this. Okay. Uh, yeah. mm. How do you, how are you? All right, take one step towards me. All right, we're gonna do what's called the one leg stand. All right, I'm assuming that you're gonna want to do this with your, which which knee's your bad one? My left is my bad one. Your left is your bad one. Yeah. How how is it with like a kick in motion, almost just holding it up? Um. Is that fine? I think it's fine. Yeah, yeah. you think that's fine? Yeah. Okay. So what I'm gonna have you do, like I said, I'm gonna explain this entire test to you, and then I will tell you to begin. Okay? So don't begin until I tell you to. Okay. Now. With any leg of your choosing, I want you to raise it at least six inches in the air, keeping your foot parallel to the ground and your legs straight, arms down to your side, and I want you to count like this. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, and so on until I tell you when to stop, okay? Okay. Do you understand the d directions I of the do. test? Okay, you may begin. Can I acknowledge that um, yesterday they did tell me that... Uh, my left knee hurts, so yeah. let's try to do my right. Are you with the are you with the put your legs straight? Or is that is that painful? That is not painful. To I put just... it to put it straight, like your legs straight straight out in front of you like this? Yeah. I just Okay. Um in my defense I've never balanced that before, so I just don't want it to be in my defense, but I can't. Remember how, to, remember how I told you to count? Yeah. Yeah, count loud. Five Mississippi, six. Nope. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi. All right, Mississippi, all right, you can stop. Six. I don't want you to fall or anything. Okay. <clears throat> all right. So this next one, I got, I got to have you take a seat in my back of my car, and then I got to read something to you off my computer. Okay? You're not going to cuffs or anything like that. All right. Okay. So we're just going to step right back here. So can I ask why that needs to happen? Because I have to read it verbatim from my computer. It's a little lengthy paragraph piece. Okay. So we're right over there on the passenger side. Real quick, you, you don't have anything on you. I don't think you, you have anything no, in your pockets. Is that it? That's it. All right, you might, I'm just gonna check real quick, no, okay? Ahead. Thank you. I don't think you have any pockets or anything in that dress, do you? No, I don't. No? Okay. Sorry. Well, you're okay. Start. I'll be with you in a second, okay? Bring your two mat 15.
All right, you can stay in the car right there. All right, so here's the PBT you said you were going to blow into, okay? So what I'm going to need you to do, go ahead, wrap your lips around this tube, okay? And then just blow like you're blowing into a balloon, all right? At the end of the day, aren't I being taken in? Uh, I mean, based on the, based on the test that was offered to you and, and as conducted, yes, okay? okay? This is... So I'd like to wait. I just... You'd like to wait? Yeah. I mean, what do you mean wait? I just mean, I'm already going to be taken in, so... So this, this, this solely just seems what you're at, because if you're above a .35... That means we're going to have to go to the hospital with you because it's alcohol poisoning and that's worrisome. Okay? okay. And I know I only had one drink and I don't want it to be used against me at this point and I don't want you guys to This say This isn't admissible in court. Okay. This is, this is, this is this completely is just, up to you. Sorry to do. This is, this, just, is, this is to see where you're at. And then after to see where I'm at is what? Okay. <laughs> I, don't, no, I, I, don't I acknowledge know. that I want to do that. I just, I'm okay. just worried that I just, I, I don't feel like I was in any trouble and now I'm in the back and... You're not even handcuffed right now. I know, I'm just, <laughs> um, I'm shaking, so I don't... You know what the legal I, limit is in Michigan? 1.5? No, or it's, less than? It's point, a zero eight. Yeah. So typically, generally speaking, it's, it's about two drinks. Yeah. Okay. So if you're saying drinks. you only had one drink. No, I had two drinks. Okay. I did. And how long ago was that? Um, less than an hour before I drove, and I, I did have two drinks, so okay. I would be okay with So this will kind of help us gauge and see where you're at on that on that level, and helps determine if you're over the legal limit or under the legal limit. Is that I'm incriminating myself, even if I was just two drinks down. And <laughs> At the end of the day, if you have two drinks, then it's just... Mary, Mary, this is completely up to you. I know it is, and at the end of the day, you guys help me and support me, and you guys are police officers. I gotta hold it for you. Thank you. Yep. Blow, you gotta blow hard. There you go. Blow, 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 blow. All right. Like I said, you're good. Like I said, blowing up a balloon, okay? Yeah, I'm sorry. Just like that. Yep. There you go. Go, 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 go. All right. All right. Mary, legal limit in Michigan is a point oh eight. okay? You blew a point one six one seven six. All right. 235. At the end of the day, um, am I spending the night in jail? What can I do? Hold on. I haven't done this before. I haven't have a record. I'm a good person. I understand that I have to respond. I really just had... Alright, so, right now, okay, I'm letting you know you're being placed under arrest for operating under the influence of alcohol, okay? All right, what I'm going to need you to do, turn and face the other door and put your arms behind your back, okay? Uh, at the end of the day, do you need to cuff me if I'm in the back? Oh, yeah. Why? Because that, that is policy. Everyone, at, at the everyone, end of the policy, like, when you are, When you cuffed? are, Mary, when you are placed under arrest, you are handcuffed behind the back, okay? Unless you have some sort of restriction that says otherwise. I just, I can't even be in front? No. Not unless you have some sort of else restriction. I don't understand what I did. Put your palms together. There you go. Well, you know, we've we come across people like that all the time that say that. Well, I understand we, that. I just it wasn't the point of.
that again? Yeah. Sorry, You're good. Do you need anything out of the car? Need your phone, wallet? Okay. Is that it? Okay. Three, two, hook one.